hello again. It has been about eight months since my last video. And that is the reason why I am here right now, actually, because I feel like <laughs> in the past when I've disappeared just randomly for any length of time, I've kind of just always jumped back in with a video and it's been so random. There's been no explanation, nothing. So now that I've made the decision to brave the wilds of the YouTube um, atmosphere, I guess, and come back again, I feel like the appropriate way to do that would be to kind of discuss what happened and hopefully move forward in a better way. So a little over eight months ago, I made the decision to come back to YouTube and I was booking it. Like I was creating content, uploading, like editing. It was, it was great. But there is one very big difference between where I was before I gave birth to my daughter and where I am now. And the difference is me, okay? Now, before I go any further, I do want to put a, a warning, a trigger warning. I am gonna talk about body dysmorphia, body image, um, and how that's, it's affected me doing this because it's very much the centerpiece as to why I disappeared for so long. So if you don't wanna to listen to this, I understand completely it's triggering to me, but I feel like if I'm gonna do this the right way, then addressing this has to happen. I was very happy to be creating content again last year. It made me excited. I love creating content. This is definitely a hobby of mine, a labor of love. I truly love creating content. It's something that makes me so happy. Um, and I just, I love the community that I've built here on my channel over the last, it's been 10 years, uh, which is nuts. Have I been consistent? No, but I've been here for 10 years and I'm so proud of the channel that I built and who I became as a content creator, being invited to Generation Beauty as a content creator by the brand, like getting PR and all, it's so much fun to do this. It, it really is. But more than that, what I love the most is talking to you, my subscribers, and having that engagement and having read these comments that are usually always very positive and glowing. Of course, there are a few trolls, but I really had never experienced how vicious people could be until last year. I forget which video it was specifically, but it was a video where I was wearing a pink hoodie. Those hoodies, which I have not worn since last year, by the way, because of this. Those hoodies were, for some reason, the focal point of a few comments that I would get from a few specific creators, not creators, uh, commenters, but a few people would comment about my hoodies. And one of the comments that I got that really was the first time I had, I had experienced fat phobic comments from someone, at least to this degree. Um, one of the comments is something of the effect of, she, you're always wearing hoodies, it must be because you're trying to cover up your fat. I was like, oh, okay, ignored that. This person kept commenting on every video that I put and with each video, it got more vicious. Like they would target my face specifically. They would say, oh, like in one, it started off with just the hoodie and me wanting to cover my fat. Then it went from the hoodie is strangling your fat around your neck and giving you bigger double chins. I wish I could explain to you accurately with like the right words, how badly this messed me up. Like, I've always dealt with body dysmorphia and body image issues from a very young age. When I was young, I was fit because I was playing sports. I was a cheerleader, played softball. Like, I was a very active teenager, child, whatever. Despite all that, despite the fact that I was actually very fit, I was dealing with fat phobia in my own household. If you are someone who grew up in a Latino household, you know exactly what I'm about to say. Okay, and you know what it means. My father, instead of just calling me by my name, like a normal person would, uh, would refer to me as Gorda, Gordita, Gordin Flona. Like there was a whole variety of names or for, uh, different versions of Gorda that he would call me, refer to me as. But his favorite was Gordita, okay? Gordita basically means little fat girl. And so from a very young age, I had always struggled with body image issues. And so when I was reading these comments, I 
went back into the mental place of, oh, I should not be seen. Now I'm a very competitive person, very competitive, okay? So in my mind over the last two weeks, all I've been able to think about is I let those fuckers win. They wanted to say these mean things to affect me so I could get off the internet, basically. It's what, that's what I took it as. I don't like letting people like that win. So here I am, bitch. And so ultimately, that is the reason why I, I stayed away. I, no matter what I weigh, no matter how I look, no matter if my hair is laid or if it's wild and crazy like it is right now, no matter if I have a full beat of face of makeup or I don't, like I don't right now, no matter how big I am or how small I am, I deserve to take up space just as much as any other person on this platform does. And I'm not going to allow bullies to chase me off the internet again because I love this. It feels so good, so good to have finally talked about this with you. I just wanna leave you with this. Okay, if you are someone like me who has dealt with body image issues and self-esteem issues in the past, the internet can be a very scary place. But you know what? What I will not do any longer is allow cowards who would never say this shit to my face, by the way, let's start there, all right? They would never say those malicious things to anyone's face because they know if they did, they get fucking molly whopped like that. I refuse to allow these cowards to bully me off the internet will not happen any again at all. I have never historically been that person. I don't give a fuck. If you don't like who I am or if you don't like the way I look, bitch, then don't fucking look at me. It's that simple. It's, it's really always been that simple. And so please, if you're someone like me who is dealing with body image issues and you're like, oh, I, I shouldn't do that because I, I don't want people to fuck those people do what you want to do with your time we are not promised years and years and years why waste your time being scared of what some random ass piece of shit and east bumfuck fucking kansas in his mom's basement is gonna say about you on the internet who gives a fuck i don't give a fuck i love what i have here i love what i've built here i love my community i love makeup I love talking about things. I love pop culture and music and movies and so many different things that I would love to share again with you here on my channel. I love all those things way too much to let fucking toothless Tim in his mom's basement to blow me off the internet over my weight. Stop being afraid of taking up space. We don't, it doesn't matter how small or big you are or if you're wearing makeup, if you're not wearing makeup, your hair is done, your hair is not done. Who gives a fuck, dude? Just do it. Have fun. I, I have to. I know it's easier said than done. I get it. Because I'm still trying to get past that myself. But if I can inspire one person who has been struggling with this shit to not give a fuck, then I won. Like, this is a win to me. Because I don't want someone to suffer the way that I suffered for the past eight months. I don't ever want someone to feel like, like the way I felt for the last eight months. It's not fun and I let it happen. It's easy to allow those kinds of comments to affect you this much, but it's just as easy to realize that they're cowards and they're projecting their insecurities onto me. They're using me as a scapegoat because they don't wanna face what's going on with them. Honey, that's not my problem. I am back. I will be creating regular content I don't give a fuck about what people have to say about me. If you don't like the way I look, don't look at me. It's that simple. Um, and yeah, that's it. So with that being said, I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be back. I cannot wait to create more content and talk to you in the, in the community tab and, and get back to doing what I love. I love this. I love you. I love YouTube. And I can't wait for the next 10 years to see what happens. So I will see you in the next video.